Hey what's up everyone and welcome to Daily Code Buffer. In this video we are going to learn about the command design pattern that's a part of the behavioral design pattern. So let's get started. Now before understanding the command design pattern and how we can implement it let's see one scenario here. By definition command design pattern says that rather than directly executing any request with your business logic what you will do is you will convert your request into command and that command will be executed by your business logic. So rather than any request directly executing by your business logic layer right directly any request directly been executed what you will do is your request will be converted to any command first right and this command will be executed by your business logic so you can see that your entire request will be converted into one object and that object with all the different methods and everything it can be executed by your business logic okay so that command will be as the input parameter for your methods to be executed so directly you won't be executing any request you will be executing a command and that command can be executed by multiple ways so that's one command right that command will have all the information like what is the request what is the input data and everything and directly with all those information command can be executed by any of the different receivers or the invokers okay we will understand what are the different receivers and invokers but that's a gist about the command design pattern so let's take one example you are creating one text editor okay in that text editor you will have different kinds of button and all those different buttons will have the different functionalities okay so let me just take this here as a text editor and this text editor will have different buttons so suppose I am creating different buttons okay suppose consider I am creating a base button okay that's the base interface that I am creating with this button I might have different kinds of button that is a copy button okay paste button open button suppose save button right so these are the different buttons that I am creating okay for all this button my button class my button interface is a base interface that's a base object and all the different functionalities all the different buttons will have the different business logic okay copy will do copy paste will do paste open save similarly all the buttons will do the different things okay so that's one of the scenario and what it will happen is you will be creating a different subclasses to have those functionality okay so you'll be doing this way now suppose one more situation comes that okay you have written the logic of copying okay like how to copy like data and everything so that business logic is written already okay now there is a functionality like when you do a copy okay what we can do is we do a control c as well right copyright control c or command c to copy so that is also one functionality so when you do this control c at the same time you have to invoke the same business logic that you have written for the copy okay so you can see that your business logic your command execution is same for multiple things now right not just button you also have a shortcut that does the same thing okay that does the same copy paste open whatever it is okay so now you have two different types of command that can do the same thing okay one is button click event and one is shortcut okay so that way that is a button click and one is a shortcut now there might be multiple things can be added as well right so for each and everything if you are doing a request to the business logic layer to do the same thing like when you click a button when it's a copy button do this copy button operation when the shortcut is command c or control c do the copy operation you can see that you will have a lot of duplicacy of the code and lot of things will happen and maintaining that code will also be difficult at that time right so rather what you can do is for any type of request that you receive right any type of request that you receive what you will do is that all the request can be converted into a command okay and this command can be executed by your business layer okay your business layer will get that command and that command will be executed so whenever i click a copy button okay it will can it will take that request it will take the input data and it will create a copy command okay i will create this command as a base interface okay and multiple interface and multiple concrete classes can be implemented by this command so i'll create a command okay this command is a copy command when i click control c at the time also i'll create the same copy command and this copy command will be passed along to the receiver and that receiver will perform that operation over here so that's the basic idea about converting any request directly been executed to a command and that command can be executed okay so there are different components to it so one of the component is command itself okay so you can see that these are all the commands that we created right so any command can be executed so that's a basic command you will create an interface for it and different commands can be implemented concrete classes can be created to have that command executed with that command there is a receiver as well 
ओके दैट इज वन कंपोनेंट कॉल्ड रिसीवर सो वॉट रिसीवर इज रिसीवर इज एक्चुअली अ पर्टिकुलर कंपोनेंट दैट विल बी एग्जीक्यूटेड सो सपोज आई वॉन्ट अ कमांड दैट इज द ओपन फाइल ओके सो दिस इज अ कमांड एंड रिसीवर वुड बी फाइल इट सेल्फ लाइक दिस फाइल विल बी ओपन फाइल विल बी सेव्ड फाइल विल बी कॉपीड सो ऑल दैट ऑपरेशन यू कैन सी विल बी द पार्ट ऑफ रिसीवर दैट रिसीवर विल गेट द कमांड ओके आई एम अ टेक्स्ट फाइल ओके कंसिडर दिस अ टेक्स्ट फाइल दिस टेक्स्ट फाइल विल रिसीव अ कमांड टू ओपन सो दैट्स अ रिसीवर एंड दिस रिसीवर विल डू दैट ऑपरेशन ओके सो दैट्स अ रिसीवर पार्ट वन इज द इन्वोकर पार्ट ओके दिस इन्वोकर विल बी इन्वोकिंग ऑल द डिफरेंट रिक्वेस्ट दिस इन्वोकर हैव द लिस्ट ऑफ डिफरेंट कमांड्स टू बी एग्जीक्यूटेड ऑन रिसीवर एंड दैट पर्टिकुलर इन्वोकर विल बी एग्जीक्यूटिंग ऑल द कमांड्स वन बाय वन दिस इज वेरी हेल्पफुल वेन वी वॉन्ट टू डू रिडू ऑपरेशन और अन डू ऑपरेशन एट दैट टाइम दिस टाइप ऑफ इन्वोकर इज रियली हेल्पफुल राइट सो आई विल हैव द लिस्ट ऑफ कमांड्स दैट आर ऑलरेडी एग्जीक्यूटेड ऑन अ रिसीवर ओके सो सपोज two couple of copies were done couple of pastes were done couple of cuts were done all those list i will have and if i want to undo or redo i can do all those commands and all those commands will also have the data to it okay so this way invoker will have invoker will have the list of commands and those commands can be executed and one would be client right client will be the one which will be using the invoker to invoke all the functionalities of the command design pattern so these are the basic components of a command design pattern and i also explain you the basic like when we will be using this command design pattern like when whenever we want to have the implementation by multiple places right multiple things are calling the same thing at the time rather than duplicating the code we can create the command out of it and that command can be executed by any of the receivers okay so when this type of situation arrives we will use the command design pattern okay so one is like creating a command and one is like executing that particular command okay so that is the type of relationship we are expecting here okay so let's understand with the code here okay we will be using the same example for the text file so let me just open my intellij idea and here you can see that i have given you the definition as well and the references that i have used you can go to this references and you can understand more about the command design pattern and you can support the creators as well now let's first understand about the command okay so here you can see that i have created a command that is the text file operation okay this is the interface i have created and i have created as a functional interface so that this can be used as a lambda expressions as well if i we want to use okay so that's why this is not mandatory but it should be interface and this interface can be implement by, implemented by the concrete classes so that's a text file operation so i want to do any operation on a text file that's the command i want to do and this command you can see it has a method that will be executed okay to execute a particular command so this is the interface now let's implement this interface so this interface you can see i have created one more operation that is open file that's the open text file operation which is implementing text file operation so you can see that this is the concrete class implementing the command and here you can see that i have the reference of the receiver okay like what is the receiver which will be going to implement or execute this command okay so for my open what i want to open i want to open a text file so that text file is my receiver that text file will be executing that particular command okay so that's why i have given receiver here and this is the constructor to pass the receiver here and you can see that this is the method okay which is returning null so that means i have just implemented this particular method you can do any operation over here okay that's fine now same thing over here that is the save text file operation which is implementing text file operation that's the same thing this is the concrete class which is implementing the interface here this also have the reference of a text file okay this text file is a receiver we will go to the text file as well like what it is text file but here you can see that for this save text file we have a constructor and the method implemented okay what we are implementing we are implementing text file dot save okay here as well we can do the same thing we can do text file dot open okay now all this method we have placed in the receiver itself so if we go to the receiver that is the text file okay here you can see that i have just created simple text file and this text file have some properties okay suppose it has a name and it has the different methods this is just a constructor to pass on the name but it has method that is the open method and a save method okay so you can see that receiver is something that will actually execute the commands okay so like suppose i want to open a file there is a command i created and with that command i will pass on the receiver and i will call the receiver's open method so here i did the same thing in the open text file command okay i call the execute method and for the receiver's class i call this receiver's method that is the open method of a receiver 
so that's the same thing over here that i call this open method of a text file because i want to open the text file so these two components we gone through that is the command itself and the receiver itself so that's the relationship between the command and the receiver now let's talk about the invoker so here you can see that i have created one executor okay you can call it executor or invoker which will actually invoke the command design pattern so here you can see that i have just created the class over here and this class have the list of commands to be executed okay text file operation are the list of commands to be executed and here execute operation i have defined one method this method will take on the command and it will add that command to our command list like what all the commands that we have executed and it will actually execute the command so you can see that this is the method execute operation which will take the command it will add the command to our list and it will execute that command so we will have the entire list as well like what all the different commands we have executed this is helpful when we want to do undo and redo operations okay so this is my invoker you can have any logic in your invoker this invoker will be used by the client to execute or to call our command design pattern okay so this is just a simple method which will take the command to execute it whatever the command we pass that will be executed now let's go to the client our client is the command application okay here you can see that this is the executor that we have created object and within this executor you can see that in the execute operation okay we have here right execute operation let me go back execute operation method is there right in that it is taking the command itself so here we are passing within the first executor means within the first method what we are passing is we are passing open command that is the open text file command within that i am passing a new text file and the name of the file so this operation will be executed on this file okay so you can see that we are calling receiver command everything from the executor itself the second thing is within the same executor command we are passing save text file operation so, so that means we are passing the save command to a text file what is the text file there is a new text file we created and we pass the file to over here so you can see that how every component has been used within the command design pattern so this is how we will be implementing the command design pattern these are the four components that we went through that is the command receiver invoker and the client itself okay so you can see that it's very easy to implement you will need one interface that interface will be implemented by the concrete class as the command there will be one receiver that will perform all the operations for you okay so for us for open command and a save command what is the receiver a file is the receiver because file will be opened and file will be saved similarly you can identify your commands and receivers for your particular application and accordingly you can design your system the next thing was the executor executor will be something or invoker will be something that will invoke your command design pattern and it will execute all the commands for you here within this we also store the list as well to list down all the commands because we want to know what all the commands were executed and if you want to redo or undo we can do that the next thing was the client itself which will actually call your executor so these are all the components i hope you like this video if you enjoy this video then give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos you can also click on the join button and support the channel as well i will see you in the next video till then happy coding bye bye